Yo, Tripolar Bear. I'm gonna talk about a cool trade program that everybody should use as it will help you uh, have a large amount of trades very quickly and very easily. This trade program will be linked down in the description. It's called PB Trades Companion. You see there's a nice little overlay here. And I would say it is impossible to not have something like this or Mercury Trade. Now you see what's happening here is that it's taking my incoming trade messages. It tells me what the item is, what tab it is. And when you're on this tab, right? When there's a lot of them, you know, I'm on one now. If there was two, there'd be two. Um, it'll even highlight where the item is in your quad or where it would be in a normal tab. And then there's a nice little trade button here. You've got your four chaos and then you can just kick them from the party. And there we go. And you see, we've got that. And then you can click X or you can press thank you. And then it'll do a nice little thank you message. Just click it again and it'll do a, uh, a trade with them. And you see there's a party invite. I click there, there's a party invite. Uh, and it just lets you do a lot of trades very quickly because it's highlighting where your items are. Uh, it's actually like impossible to do any of this without a program like this. I, I don't see how anybody could do this. Uh, as it's just like highlighting where it is exactly, you don't have to enter anything, right? I'm, I know I'm looking for healthy storm uh, or healthy sorcerer boots, right? Uh, so this makes it very, very easy. Uh, now we've got a guy who's wanting to buy a lion's pelt, an offering of the goddess. Uh, so we're just going to go over. We're going to find our offering of the goddess. Uh, I know it's going to be like right here. And then boom, we got the offering. Uh, I know this guy's wanting a lion's pelt. So we're going to go over to our tabs looking for a lion's pelt. If you memorize what price your tabs are at, if they're different prices, it makes it a lot easier as well. Uh, but this guy's going for a 4C lion's pelt. Uh, which means it's probably in my normal 4C tabs, which is going to be the bigger green circle here. But you see, it makes it very, very easy uh, to do these trades very quickly. Now, it does get a little bit complicated still when there are like a lot, a lot of trades. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all good because uh, you could just kick, boom, boom. And now we've got the offering of the goddess guy. And we're going to trade him. I kick him, cancel to the next one. The Lion's Pelt guy, he's not here, so I'm going to cancel that one. Offering to the Goddess, I'm going to skip a couple of these. We'll do the Royal Burgonet, another offering, a Sapphire Ring, a Glowing Hubris, my Enlighten at 110 Chaos. And then this guy I sold my Sorcerer Boots to, so we'll skip him and get another ring. And so I have all of these trades lined up now. This guy wants a 2 Chaos Royal Burgonet. We've got that right there. A 3C... Uh, Offering to the goddess. I'm going to scroll over. I'm pretty sure that one's in my, one of my quad tabs. If not, I oh, I, that was when I sold, but there we go. Uh, beast nail sapphire ring. Uh, that's going to be right there. You can just hover your mouse there. A glowing hubris. You see how, like, how insane it would be to not use this program, right? Like, it would actually be wild for you to not use this program, uh, as doing all of these trades would be way too complicated as it already is a little complicated so now we'll go through now that i have a full inventory of items and all of these people are in my hideout and ready to trade boom we kick them an offering to the goddess we do the trade we kick them we click x uh you could also do thank you but make sure you're on the newest version all right that sapphire ring's not there uh hubris guy's not here the enlightened guy's here though Sometimes people don't show up. It is what it is. All right. It's, <laughs> it's about the exile trade. Okay. It's not going to be perfect every time. Uh, make sure you're on the newest version as if you, because if you have a thank you message and a kick button, this is the cataclysm ring. If your thank you message kicks and sends a message that is against the terms of service. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Do I still have an offering in my inventory? Uh, I think I'm sold on offerings. So I'm going to tell sold, sold. A uh, victory band amethyst ring. I'll invite this guy. A uh, 2C colossal tower. Uh, this guy's just buying a bunch of amethyst rings, I guess. He's just PMing the ever loving hell out of me. For amethyst rings, um, I'm just going to see like how many he wants. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, wait. No, this is the. I, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's like not. He's not coming. I don't know. It's trade. Okay. It's trade. Some people, uh, they do they do a little bit of spamming. This guy wants a Colossal Tower Shield. We'll trade him for 2C. Uh, so this program just makes it doable, right? I can't imagine ever doing this many trades 
uh, without a program like this. All right, I've got to X out on all of these. Uh, there's another program I have. I'm just going to skip all these really quick and catch back up. Um, actually, I'm not going to take one C for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's another trade program I use, but you see like how easy it was to do all those trades, right? Uh, everybody should use a program like this, whether it's Mercury Trade or whether it is Peewee Trades Companion. Uh, Mercury Trade for me doesn't really work. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as well is this doesn't work on Koreans. So uh, we just can't like trade with Koreans, I guess. If you're doing this many trades, I'm sorry, Koreans. Uh, it just can't happen because uh, this program, for some reason, it can't. It's because of uh, something with Korea not letting uh, information be held in text files uh, without like explicit permission or something like that. Uh, so video games can't like hold messages in text files. And this is uh, reading the text file for the uh, influx of uh, trade and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, there's another uh, nice and a very useful tool called Awakened PoE Trade. And now this tool, PoE Awakened Trade, uh, lets you price check items. And it does it very, very well. It's a very good price checker. And it is my favorite price checker because it has nice little sliders here and you can very easily when you get a good unique you can just or any unique you could just check the roles you could see if the roles that you have are worth anything so the roles i have here are worth about 280 chaos or about three exalts um, just with this alone which is like pretty pretty nice right uh, so stuff like that. Uh, I found like a Dendro bait yesterday. It's a normally uh, one chaos unique, uh, but I had good rolls. So I sold it for 15 chaos. Uh, little things like that are extremely helpful uh, at just amassing a bunch of tiny amounts of currency. And so, hold on. This guy is, hold on. Does he want it for one or two C? I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> um, but hey, all right. Trade. It could be worse. It could be worse, but this is as good as it gets, okay? Uh, you have to do this. This kind of spammy kind of kicking and whatnot. Uh, when you're selling maps, it's especially going to need to be done. Uh, you know, when you're getting spammed for a bunch of maps all of the time, a bunch of fragments or something like that. Um, so little things like that, you know, you got to have a program for that. I find it almost like impossible to, uh, to do these without a program. Uh, but hey... All right, it's PoE trade. We got it. We're making do. Uh, what does this guy want? He wants a bunch of sorcerer boots. All right, sorcerer boots. Let's go here. He wants another pair of sorcerer boots. Uh, and if you see me doing trades like this this fast on stream, uh, I hide my overlay so you can't even see anything anyway. Uh, it looks like magic, actually, when I'm just going through tabs and, and someone's like, yeah, how'd you find all those items that fast? And it's like, well, it's it's PoE Trades Companion, right? Uh, it's got a lot of extra functionality as well. Uh, you could add a bunch of different messages. You can add different things there. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, you absolutely need PoE Trade Companion. You need Awaken PoE Trade. Um, and I recommend you to get my wide macro as well. I'll also link this down in the description of the video for this. Uh, all it does is it takes your PoE window from like a windowed full screen or windowed like this. Uh, and then you press the macro, it cleans up the window bar up top. Uh, and then it sets it at a certain resolution so that you're playing in widescreen. And then I just clean it up for the stream. But this is how my stuff normally looks, right? I have everything down here. I clean it up for the stream though with the scene. Um, but you do this because you're going to see farther. It's very nice. So those are macros I recommend you. And I almost implore you <laughs> that you need or trading in this game becomes unplayable. When I have dump tabs set at three chaos, two chaos, four chaos, five even. When I'm doing these ravaged blight map farmings, which you should check out. I have a video on that, how to do them easily on almost pretty much every build. All right. Pretty much every build that's not just like 3k life in a dream. Okay. Blight ravaged maps helps with widescreen and also... This PoE Trades Companion helps when you're dumping items because I 86 bases sell for five chaos, four chaos, uh, you know, sometimes more at a time. And you're also going to get pretty nice random items since they're I 86 bases that you're picking up all the time. That's some really good money. Uh, and it's really hard to price everything accordingly all the time. So don't, don't let other people price it for you. Put it in a 50C bio tab 
when it fills up, bring it down to 20 or 10. Uh, you know, I've just been throwing stuff in a 10C. If I get like two PMs for an item right away when I put it in there, I know it's really good. I take it out, say wrong price. <laughs> And then I, I price it accordingly, right? You know, there's a couple items that are really good. We got some boots here that have T2 life, T1 move speed, T1 chaos res, and open suffix for a res, right? This is some good stuff. Just random little things like this. A nice little shaper ring with mana on hit, you know, double res. You know, it's pretty good. Maybe not 100 chaos, but who knows? We'll see what people are willing to pay for it. All right, dot multi res life. Eh, probably not 2x, but we'll bring it down over time. All right. Anyway, those are my tips for not only farming Blight Maps, but for doing a large amount of trades. I'll catch you guys on the live stream. All right, goodbye.